Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn, the Road to 500 Beaver Challenge. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, link will be in the description to the playlist. And with that, let's start it off. Okay, as you can see right here, the beavers are not actually using this path since there isn't a path. I also realized why I built this little platform here. Because if you can see right over here, it says there's an unconnected building. And that is because the range of the district center ends right there. So they might be able to construct stuff, but they can't build buildings that uh, get used over there. One thing I also didn't show on camera last episode was this. I'm going to try and block this off. Once we get this in, might want to put some dams on top of it to prevent any water from going through, but that's not super high in the priority list. If we can get this here, it'll just help retain a little bit more water. Okay, this episode's starting off with 32 beavers. We do have a couple of vacant jobs, and we have an extra bed, but I think we'll probably want to immediately start making some more housing to get the beaver population up. I'm going to try and shoot for 50 beavers by the end of this episode, but that might be a little bit of a pipe dream. We'll see. Okay, so we have some houses set up, but I want to get a double lodge to kind of future-proof the expansion. So we just went ahead and replaced all the barracks with the double lodge, but I'm not going to have all of these active at once since that would be a humongous increase in beavers. We have a couple of buddies who are powering the lumber mills working together. Oh, we got the house, but we don't have anything else, so I should probably prioritize these just to make sure that we can get, get people living in there. Oops, we don't need this going. There is plenty of water all around. Oh, but we do have the forester, because we're running just a little bit low on wood. But we do have a lot of wood over here. Alright, but we've got some more farmers, because there's enough food, but not enough people to harvest it. And it's starting to fill up this warehouse, so now that we have the extra one, we should also probably unpause this, since we have some potatoes. It's the beginning of day seven. Going strong, plenty of water, plenty of food. I have some wood. And I don't think we've actually had any maple grow up yet. Once these all grow up, then there's gonna be plenty of wood. We're probably gonna need to get some more storage set up as well. Okay, let's get that storage ready. Get a couple. Because we're going to have a lot of wood at some point. Oh sweet, I got this cleared out. I think I want to get another lumberjack. Getting some of these trees. It looks like the lumberjack will get part way around. And I bet they'll be able to get some of this up top. I think we should get some more storage set up for food since these guys are very far away from the current storage. Probably do one get some storage built on this island. We'll have another sunflower warehouse and a carrot warehouse, because that's all we're growing over here. No potatoes. So it'll also be perfect to fit a log pile, since we have this forester over here. Instead of the beavers going all the way back, they'll be able to just come right over here and drop their wood off. And there's a mod that I added to this series. It's not going to impact the gameplay exactly, but it's already been in effect, and if you spotted it, leave a comment below. I kind of want to see if anyone can spot it before I, I say what it is. So it looks like this carrot warehouse is almost full. Oh, it is completely full. Gotta prioritize this one. Let's get that constructed so we can get some more food reserves. Okay, with eight babies, we're going to have plenty of workers available soon, so I think I want to get a builder's hut, or maybe start with the hauling post. I think I'll start with the builder's hut. I don't think we're going to have beavers going hungry anytime soon. Oh my gosh, 800 food. We do have 42 beavers, but plenty of food to feed them. Okay, their well-being is hovering around 8. We need to get some showers installed and probably another campfire. Ok, 
Okay, we're sitting pretty good in terms of water, but I do want to get ready for when I get the medium tank. Because that's going to be able to fit right here since it takes up a 2x2 two two grid. And that's going to add a lot of capacity. It's going to basically double it. Uh oh. Watch trout. How are we looking? We got water, we got food, wood's okay. Looks like all the water dumps are built. Got this one here. These two are, these three are already. Okay, I think we'll be fine for the drought when it comes. Okay, now that we have two sets of builders, I think I want to prioritize getting the cure workshop set up. Because once we get this, we'll be able to get the medium water storage tanks. The drought has started four days, not too long. I want to make sure that we got all the water dumps filled up. Okay, that's at capacity. This one doesn't have anything in it. I'm going to pause these guys since there's no water pump. And they can go from water pumpers to water dumpers. Man, we are just loaded with carrots. We don't really have enough planks to warrant getting a large warehouse. Guess we'll just have extra carrots for now. Okay, so I want to get another district set up over here. And I'll probably actually want to put it on this island right here. That way they can reach here to dam and reach here. As well as they can dam up these two areas. But it all depends on if this district will be able to build stairs up to here. Because if it can't, I'll need to keep it on this island. And it does reach. Perfect. We have the last beaver bringing the final plank. This will be the construction of the final staircase. Oh, and he runs away. Now we have the last builder going to build the final staircase. He has all the materials and must finish the construction. It's ready. Now we can probably move the district gate right here. Okay, so I play with the paths and the location of the district center quite a bit. And I don't think we'll be able to get this one right over here. But if this is placed exactly here, this is barely covered. And then I think that it should reach. But visually it looks like it'll make it. I don't know, we'll see. Now that we've got a new district center, we need to get a distribution post and drop-off point set up. Okay, I think we'll be short on jobs for the beavers. So we'll have some unemployed beavers coming up soon. Should definitely get a hauling post set up. Okay, what do we need for the distribution post? Planks. How many do we have? None. We got these two guys working over here. Guess we just have too many things that require planks. These guys are clearing some space. I think we'll want to put in another lumber mill. And the water's come back. About a hundred water left. Getting a little close, not too bad. Okay, we can unpause this now. We want to get this prioritized to get the gears going. And that way, we can finally get this water tank. We do have enough science, might as well unlock it now. Yes, we have the newest lumber mill. One of the upsides of this challenge is that you're not going to be short on beavers to operate these hamster wheels. Okay, I think we want to probably get this prioritized. That way when we get this built, we can start sending goods over and we can get some beavers put in this district. Oh, nice. The windmill's almost done. Once that's done, we'll have power for this building. We can get gears. We actually might as well clear these to get ready for the large water tank. Oh, but we're running low on water. Shoot, I thought I unpaused these. Get beavers back in the water pumps. Yes, we got the distribution post built. Okay, we gotta add a new route. Let's get the basics. Water. Carrots. Some logs at first. Okay, it's a new day and I think the first thing we're gonna do and send a few beavers over to the new district. 
Oh, it's District 5. I need to rename those. So I think we're going to send four beavers over. And with that, we're going to wrap up this episode. If you noticed what the mod was, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.